Hi, good evening. It's Miriam and welcome to Cooking Uncovered. Tonight I am making one of the most delicious soups known to man and it has so much stuff in it. In fact, what we're using tonight is a good old root vegetable, the beets. And I'm doing this today because today is anti-bully day and all over Vancouver and the western Canada and northern and northern Alberta and all over Canada people are paying attention to anti-bully day because we want to get rid of bullies and not let that happen in our schools in our workplace so I'm wearing pink and the soup is kind of ready pink so it kind of goes along with today so I'm going to dedicate this soup to my girlfriends who are right now enjoying a glass of wine in Palm Springs this is for Marky and Maggie and Lynn. And I hope you really enjoy this and this is just the best soup going. So let's get started. I have here one cup of my beautiful red onions and I'm just gonna pop those in my pan. I've got two tablespoons of oil already going in here. Two tablespoons of oil. And I'm going to saute those onions with a quarter cup of, uh, just a small quarter cup of diced celery and half a cup of diced carrots. Now, I'm going to show you how I do this. Look at that, isn't that perfect? I, do, I did all the dicing tonight on my mandolin. Perfect way to dice vegetables for a borscht like this. Now, strangely enough, I'm also going to put in my shredded cabbage, which I also did on my mandolin. One cup of cabbage, so in that goes. We're going to saute all this together. Really, once you do all the dicing on the mandolin, it's so easy because you just throw everything together in the pot. So, let's just stir that a bit. The trick about this soup is, though, is the beets. I have to tell you, the trick is the beets. Now, when I go to start my beets, um, I want to put on my gloves. So I'll talk about the beets in the, in the meantime. But what we're going to do here is just have all of this saute nice and high on my stove. And I want to saute that until my onions are transparent. But while that's happening, what I'd like to show you is my mandolin. So here's one potato. I'm just using a, a medium potato. And what I've done with a paring knife is I've just like removed all of the kind of the grit and the stuff that you really don't want to eat, but I've left on the peel as much as I could. So with my mandolin, I take it, I place it in my mandolin, and on my board, I just, can you see that? How I slice? Slice and dice with the old man, with the mandolin, and look what it comes up with. These are almost shoestring potatoes. So that's going to go in. Now, I also have here um, two garlic cloves, which I've already peeled. So I'm just going to pop my garlic cloves into my onions as well. Just a quick dice. They don't have to be really small. It doesn't have to be fine just as long as they're all broken up. That's going to go right into my onions. But you can hear it's sauteing. I just want to show you this because look at that great, the great color in that. Isn't that beautiful? So that's the start to my board. So that's just going to saute away. Now, I have to put on my gloves because every time I do this, no matter how hard I try, my hands get all, um, all colored red. Now, there's two ways of doing beets, or there's many ways probably, but you can either roast your beets or you can boil your beets. These beets that I've got here have been boiled for about an hour. Now, unfortunately, these must be very, very old beets because I could not get the skin just to fall off. Usually, you can get this, you can just, with your fingers, you can just move the skin around till it all falls off. But the beauty is, if you boil them, you see what I'm doing? I'm just scraping my paring knife over the top, and that's removing, oh sorry, <laughs> I'm just scraping my the peel off with a paring knife, and it actually works quite well, so you don't have to actually dig into the beet. So just scrape, 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 scrape. So that's how I'm going, that's how I've done these beets over here. Now notice, you do get quite mucky with the beet juice, so um, you just have to be cognizant of that, make sure you've got your apron on. But I'm also going to use my mandolin to, to dice my beets as well, but not quite yet. So my, my onions are now transparent, 
I'm going to add my one cup of diced tomatoes with one more cup of fluid. So that makes it, we're going to add actually a total of five cups of fluid. So here's my broth going in. Now, the beauty is you can add, you can add either chicken broth, vegetable broth, or beef broth, it doesn't matter. Whatever you like can go into this. Now, traditionally it does ask, I've seen it done with beef, but it doesn't really matter. It'll work out quite well. So I'm going to let this come to the boil, and then I'm going to add um, some dill. I've got some nice fresh dill here, so we're gonna add about two tablespoons of dill. We're just gonna chop that up. I've already washed the dill, just chop it up ever so slightly. Two tablespoons of dill go into your stock. Into that, your one small potato. In it goes. This is a very luscious, nutritious soup with lots of fresh vegetables. All right, so with the potatoes in, I would let that come to the boil and you would cook that at a, at a high simmer for about half an hour until the potatoes are done. Then, at that point, I would add a bouillon cube. Now this happens to be a no salt veggie vegetable bouillon cube, but really whatever your flavor you want. I just like the flavor of these, so I'm going to add that. So after half an hour, I guess I'll pretend that it's half an hour now, I'm going to put in the bouillon cube and I'm also going to put into in my beef. Now, just a trick, a little time saving tip, don't dice your beets onto your cutting board use a plate so you can just pop them right into your soup. So here's the beets. I've already peeled these. Aren't they lovely? They're just gorgeous. Onto my mandolin and onto my plate. I'm, slip, I'm simply using the dice, the dice uh, mechanism on this. And if it doesn't work, don't worry about it too much. That's one beet, two beets, Be careful you don't splash yourself, especially if you don't have a uh, an apron on. So that's two beets, and that goes right into your soup. So you let it come to a boil. You've added your potatoes. Let it come to a boil, and now you've added your beets after the half an hour of cooking. All right. So I'm just going to remove my. So now I'm going to let it simmer for about another 15 to 20 minutes. And this is what you come up with. So I'm going to move this one to the back burner and I'll show you the soup that I actually made earlier. Turn that back on, bring it up. Now, this is the beauty of borscht. So I'm going to take some of my fresh dill, isn't that lovely? Just for a garnish, a little bit of, just a little bit, doesn't take much. And I have some sour cream here that I've already taken out of the fridge. And I have my handy dandy bowl. And in goes the borscht that I made less than an hour ago. Now, albeit, it does take time to, um, it does take time to dice the vegetables, but it's well worth the effort. So into the center goes a dollop of sour cream. And onto that, I'm just going to sprinkle some lovely, luscious dill. And look what we have. We have the most beautiful soup. Look at that beautiful color here on Auntie Bully Day. Isn't that gorgeous? So you just like mush your, mush your sour cream around and it turns a beautiful pink color. And that's our soup. Oh. This reminds me of my mother-in-law's, who is from um, the Duke, Alberta, actually, and she's a phenomenal cook, the lovely lady that she is. And so I hope you enjoy this, our borscht recipe for tonight, with tons of vegetables and tons of beets. And I hope you have a good night. We'll talk to you later. And hi to my girlfriend.